Welcome back, I'm Professor MJ and this is my YouTube channel where I offer you the Savvy Sports Investor advice on placing wager on sports. This video is for week 12 of the college football season. Sorry I was unavailable for last week's video, but this week we are back at it in full swing. In that short video last week, I gave you these two picks that I liked in the Washington-Wisconsin game. Yes! They both hit. The game turned out a lot like we thought it would. I don't think anybody thought Wisconsin could pull off the shocker. For this week, I will offer you two picks I like for this weekend's games. Tuscaloosa is the stage this Saturday as two SEC heavyweights collide. The Alabama Crimson Tide hosts the Oklahoma Sooners in a matchup with massive playoff implications. Brian Denny Stadium will be rocking with over 100,000 fans cheering on the number 4 tide. Oklahoma sits at 7-2, still clinging to college football playoff hopes after escaping against Tennessee two weekends ago. They come limping in despite the off week with quarterback John Mateer. He started the year very well, averaging 300 plus yards a game, then he got hurt and now is playing so-so, barely averaging 180 yards a game. He has thrown an interception a game as well. I just don't believe Oklahoma is as good as their number 11 ranking suggests. Last year in Norman, the Sooners won 24-3. That was last year. Since losing to Florida State in the season opener, Alabama has rolled through its schedule. While they have struggled to run the ball effectively, the team has leaned on quarterback Ty Simpson as he has engineered the 13th best passing attack in the nation. Now the Tide face off against arguably the nation's most complete defense in Oklahoma. I just don't see a path for a lot of points. The total sits at around 46 points and going down. I like it down to the key number of 45. However, what I really like is the side. I think Alabama is the better team. The tide at home is a force and I just don't trust Mateer and the Sooners to stay mistake free. I like this game to finish 20 to 6 with the tide rolling. So my official play is Alabama minus 5.5 or really anything under a touchdown. Glad you are here to join us. Please hit the thumbs up to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get great advice on all sports. Game number two. Saturday night in Athens, it's a heavyweight showdown. The number five Georgia Bulldogs host the number 10 Texas Longhorns in a game that will decide an SEC front runner and shake up the college football playoff picture. Somehow, Texas has remained in the picture and a win at Georgia will give the committee every reason to consider them. And for Georgia, finally dealing the knockout blow to the Longhorns almost guarantees them a spot in Atlanta for the title. This game matches up two quarterbacks starting to peak at the right time. On one side, the preseason golden boy Arch Manning coming off a 3TD, 300-plus yard performance in the win over Vanderbilt two weeks ago, against blue-collar QB Gunnar Stockton and his 3TD game last week at Mississippi State. When you look at the team defense stats, you see this is a fight between number 20 and number 22. Both teams have both had a slip-up game, but outside of those one-offs, they have been clamping down on teams. I like this to be a defensive battle for sure. I think the game script is standard SEC stuff. Run the ball, drain the clock, and body blow the opponent. On defense, keep the ball in front of you, make tackles, and limit the big plays. A defensive battle means under, right? The game total is at 49.5. That's nice to keep the key 48 and 49 in play. That being said, something is making me scratch my head on this total though. 
As a principal in recent years, Georgia Unders have been cash machine. However, this year they have been all over the place. Remember earlier in the year we lost the Tennessee Georgia Under in the first quarter? While I lean on the full game under, I am going to attack the game a little bit shorter. Coach Steve Sarkisian brings his Texas squad well rested after an all-important off week. Plenty of time to script up the first 15 plays. And he's got revenge on his mind. Last year, Texas lost not once to the Dogs, but twice. The Longhorns will be prepared to punch first and attempt to quiet the rowdy Bulldog fans. Georgia has been notorious for its slow start this season. In its seven SEC games, Georgia has only scored a TD on its first possession in two of those. A more interesting statistic is that the Bulldogs have failed to have the lead in the first quarter in six of those seven games. So let's play the trend and take Texas to win the first quarter outright at plus 150. You can also take the points or half point to win the tie scenario in the first quarter, but I believe the value at plus 150 is worth the risk. That one qualifies a little as a cheeseburger play at plus money, but let's try a true cheeseburger again this week. Last week, the doc did as he always does and post his picks for the week in the comments. Feel free to post yours as well. In week 11, the doc predicted the Delaware upset at plus 195. Always fun to hit those. This week, he likes a smaller dog in Tulsa at home at plus 125 to beat Oregon State. Both of these teams are pretty bad but we just don't see how Oregon State is a favorite. They just lost to a bottom 1% Sam Houston State. Granted, Tulsa has lost 5 in a row. This is a coin flip at best. We will take the 25 cents of advantage. Let's hope we get another burger. I'm so confident in my picks each week, I'm willing to offer a money back guarantee if we don't get it right. Each week, I select a single bet I like the most among all college football games. I call it my weekly CFB lobster bet. We have hit four of the last five lobster bets in college football. You can gain exclusive access to this money back pick by clicking the link in the description below. Why don't we boost our bankrolls together again this Saturday? I'm Professor MJ, bookie crusher since 1999, and holder of a PhD in statistics. I'm glad that we got to spend time together, and I am looking forward to share more betting tips with you very soon. Cheers, my friend!